Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Did you miss out on the long boy? Don't want that to happen again in Shadowlands, or just want enough gold to stop paying for WoW? Well, today starts a long series of videos looking into Trade Skill Master, one of the best gold making tools in WoW. So let's dive into it. So before we can start to explore all of the functions TSM has to offer, we need to get a couple of things in place first. And that is what we're going to look at in this video. So as it's going to be required later on at multiple points, it's worth taking five minutes now to click on the link to the TSM website down below in the description and creating your account. We're going to need this later to download and to log into the desktop app. So if we do it now, we can save some time. TSM uses two systems, one being what you would expect, an add-on, allowing us to use the data TSM provides us online, in-game, the other being a desktop application providing us said data. So to begin, we shall focus on the one that I imagine most of us will already be familiar with, installing the add-on. As we don't know what is going to happen to Curse, we shall stick with it being associated with Twitch. On a side note, I will say that if this updates or change at any point, we will obviously amend in the future. Of course, you can also download from the TSM website itself, or using Curse Forge. Links to all of this will be in the description. Now, the add-on consists of two components. Both must be installed. We have TSM, the main add-on, and also TSM Helper, which is going to enable TSM to actually talk to the desktop app. We shall start by looking how to install both of these using Twitch. So welcome to the Twitch desktop app. Now we want to click on mods and obviously we want to head into a world of Warcraft. Now fear not if when you click on it, the list is completely empty. There is a drop down list and that list is retail, PTR, classic, whatever it may be. We're going to focus on retail. There is TSM for classic. But as I say, we're going to try and focus on retail for now. So here is now a list of all of my mods that I currently have, all of my add-ons that I currently have installed for retail. We're going to go and find ourselves some new ones. We can get more add-ons and then we're going to look for trade that's going to pull up trade skill master a bunch a various other list now as you can see trade skill master is way out the top millions of downloads yeah this is a very popular very popular add-on now we're going to need both of these as i said before we're going to need both the tsm trade skill master and we're also going to need the app help and as you can see both of mine say up to date because i already have this installed if you don't it's going to have that install button we're just going to click on that and that's going to download both of them once that's done we can then go back onto my add-ons there we go and if we now select trade you will see that both of them have been downloaded and they are up to date perfect that is twitch done and dusted so with that done and dusted we will now take a look at the old school way of doing it so by using the link down below, it will take you to the install TSM page. Here you will see the download TSM and the download TSM app helper. All the old school method means is basically we're going to have to add it to the WoW directory ourselves. That's fine. We've done it since the dawn of time like that. We can do it. So as you can see, we've downloaded the TSM. Then what we'll do is we'll download the TSM helper app. We'll have both of these. Bear in mind, these are both zip files. We're going to need to put them in the WoW directory as unzipped. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Now, Curse Forge is basically the same as what you would see on Twitch. You have the option to select your mods. In this case, obviously, we're going to go for World of Warcraft. And you have a big, long list. In this case, you have the option to download, like we've just seen from the TSM site. You also have the option to install via Twitch. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. What we're going to do is, obviously, we're going to download, because we've already shown how to do the Twitch add-on. So again, we're going to put Trade in the top. We're then going to search, and we're going to see all the results for Trade. As you can see, the very top is Trade Skill Master, and then the third one down is the App Helper. And we're going to want to download both of those, and it's going to be basically exactly the same as downloading it from the TSM website. It's going to pull down the zip file. What we need to then do is to put that into our WoW directory. So let's jump ahead and look at that. So here we are at the Battle.net launcher. Now, as you can see here, we have a drop-down menu called Options. We want to click on that. And then from that list, we want to select Show in Explorer. This is just a quicker way of getting to your WoW directory. And as you can see, we have a number of options here. We have PTR, we have Classic, and we have Retail. If you're installing TSM for Classic, you go into the Classic list. We are going for Retail. So we're going to go Interface, Add-ons. And then this is a list of all of the add-ons I currently have installed in World of Warcraft. It is quite an extensive list. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to then select 
the two zip files that we now have. We can double click because we do not want the zip. It has to be uncompressed. You need to remember that I've made that mistake several times myself back in the day. So here we go. So this is TSM. We're just going to move this out of the way. You want to give yourself some room to this because you don't want to accidentally put it inside another add-on folder. We're just going to drag it way over to the side, making sure it is going into our add-ons folder. And then that is TSM done. Obviously, I already have it installed, so therefore it's going to overwrite these files. You won't get this if it's the first time that you're installing it, so don't worry. I'm just going to say yes, get it over and done with. There we go. So with that done, next up we have the app helper. And we're literally going to do the same again. We're going to double click, making sure that we are not in the compressed. Drag it all the way over there. And again, I'm going to need to overwrite mine. That's fine. You won't have that if it's your first time installing. And we're done. Now, with the TSM add-on safely installed, let's move on to the desktop app component. Again, links will be in the description down below. I will say, if you got to this point but still have yet to make an account, you can click on register and take two minutes to quickly create one. We're going to need it going forward. So we've created our account. We have downloaded the desktop application. And now we're going to double click on the exe file. Now, you will be presented with the default install screen you are more than welcome to change this to whatever suits your needs once installed we are going to use our tsm login to gain access a quick note by the way regarding this it's your email address that you put in not the username you're going to need plus obviously your password so now that we've got tsm installed we need to direct it towards the wow install directory in the top right hand corner you're going to see a large orange button with the word settings on this will open up another window allowing us to set the wow directory to do this we simply click the browse button and direct tsm to where wow is installed it's worth noting you don't need to select retail or classic ptr or anything like that simply the world of warcraft directory as you can see my wow is located at c backslash world of warcraft but to be honest for most you'll normally find it in program files and then world of warcraft if you are new to world of warcraft and you've never played you've downloaded the game now you're getting all your add-ons set up you've heard of tsm and you want to try it from day one be aware that you will need to have launched wow at least once before you can complete these next couple of steps so next up, while we find ourselves in the general tab, we are going to need to set up the realms. Now there is nothing more frustrating than trying to make gold, and you've heard X item makes tons of profit on their given server, only to find that it's worthless on yours. That is why we need to set up our realms to give us accurate pricing so we know when we're going to make money. So click on set up realms, and this will open the TSM webpage, allowing you to select your server. Now you may be sat there going, but what if I have characters on US and EU or on different servers, Grim? Worry not. You can have up to 10 accounts using TSM Basic or 25 using the Premium. So you're all good to have EU, US and whatever else you want to select. Even Classic is available. So now you've set up one or all of your realms, it's time to close TSM Desktop and restart it. Once TSM reopens, it will pull down all of the latest information and you will be good to go. Side note, make sure you do actually close TSM down fully and it's not just minimized in the corner our final step is we're actually going to open world of warcraft and take a look to see if the tsm data is there all we need to do is simply find a common item in our bag panic not if when you hover over it the tooltip is way bigger than you're expecting that's actually a good thing it means things are going well you should see about halfway down the list tsm auction db to the right of this is a time. If this number is in sort of one or two hours, then congratulations, TSM has successfully installed and updated. Now this is only the first step of course. TSM is a fantastic tool. In the coming months and videos, we're going to explore everything TSM has to offer, going into parts less used so that we can learn together and hopefully pull in experts to give us more advice and tips so that we can use this to maximize our gold making. Now, I'm looking forward to taking this journey to TSM. This series of videos is going to run probably all the way through Shadowlands. We're going to bring in professions. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to getting a group of it myself. Hopefully, we can get whatever the Shadowlands version is of the Long Boy together and stop paying for our World of Warcraft. But that is me done. I hope this guide helps. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment or a message. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Have a good one.